good afternoon today i'm going to show the importance of the item classes and defaults okay for that i will try to create one item first and show item classes for that to create item you have to go to product management product information management create item okay. so i am creating one t second item sorry mm, i have to take the organization t must work okay so i am taking Purchase data. See, no item status and life life cycle phase and pack type is not defaulting, and also primary unit code, no unit of measure, UOM is also not defaulting. For that, to default that, I have to go to item classes and click. Put the cursor to item class. Go to security and you are assigned our organizations, main organization to set up by now. Put cursor on this. Go to templates and the formats. Put so I was already purchased item. Click on the put cursor on the purchased item. Now go to item status active. Life cycle also active. And also, pack type is base unit of each unit or each and EA. Okay. And seven close. No. This and this and this is not defaulting. Okay, so I will try to now. Now try to so I create again item now. Now we do the default. So, so that will reduce the timing. So you can go any, every time I want to create item, I have to take that three, three four columns. So you default it from item class. Okay. So take T master R. So we created for purchase item template. We modified it. So now see now all item class, item status active, and life space, uh, life cycle phase active, and tag type now is coming. So see, primary unit of measure also coming. So it is defaulting from the item classes. Okay. So so that we can reduce the typing, uh, reduce the key in the 
of the data okay so what is the importance of the item uh, item classes okay thank you so any doubts are there please ping me on 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 youtube so that i can reply on that okay thank you